Hey there YouTubers, right? So in this video, we're going to compare the i5-13600KF before it got the CPU frame in it by thermal right and afterward. So I'm going to run basically the same benchmarks. Now the first one was XTU and this is uh, basically power, power limits, power limit set to unlimited. And I got 75 degrees Celsius, and that was the score. And then score in XTU is kind of a joke. Um, so let's go and look at our current setup. Um, it's basically the same setup. Let's just talk about what's in here real quick for those of you. i5 13600KF, you can see that. Gigabyte B660 Gaming X. Two sticks of 3200 megahertz ram rtx 3070 which shouldn't come into play and now the basically the lower limits or minimum uh are the same in this video so nothing impressive uh from that aspect i'm going to hit run next to you using noctua paste and that got up there it's definitely some going to be somewhere in the 70s. 73. Seventy-four. Could have sworn I saw for a moment a 75, but um one degree cooler. Um this this plate may make a bigger difference with the i7 13700K, but this is only uh, part one, right? Now from here, folks, let's clear this. We'll do R20. If I can remember where I put R20. You guys watch the other video. You remember where I had my uh, folders? Probably right there. Okay, so we'll get this up. And this room's probably, you know, just about the same temperature, 69 degrees Fahrenheit. There's one of my previous scores, all right? Now, I'm going to pause the video and queue up the other video. All right, so this video, now I didn't consistently use XTU, um, this is going to run Cinebench R20 and then pull up Hardware Info 64. And actually, it looks like I, I got to remember to kill off XTU, right? One less thing running in the background. And then kill that, yeah. So, and I'll watch this for a couple minutes. Now, on here, you can see 75, 76. I actually got to 79. That was the highest, okay? 79. I'll switch back over and let's shut all these things off, right? I want that on. Close that. Kill that. All right. Get this ready. Sensors only. Now, if we're lucky, this will stay under 79. Right now, it doesn't look like there's really any difference. Could have been the thermal paste. All right, so here we go. Looking at this field right here. So far, 75. So I'm going to bet that it's going to get 
pretty close to 79 again. A real question would be is if it trims one to two degrees Celsius, folks, is that worth it? Oh, wow. So exact same, exact same temperature, 79, 80, even hotter. We did, um, we did beat our score though from the last time we used this, but that score was from um, cutting off uh, turbo boost. So it ran hotter, and um, you know, it doesn't look like the frame did anything, folks. I hate to say it. Um, this one's a bust with the i5 13600K. Now, did I install it wrong? I don't believe I did. Uh, was the thermal paste on correctly? I believe it was. Was it good quality thermal paste? Yes, it was. Was the same as the first video? Yes, it was. Um, so in the case of this i5-13600KF, it made absolutely no difference. It actually, um, you know, one test was better, one test worse. Now we could do this again, right? Which is probably the smart thing to do. Run this again. I'll reset it. And I think if I turn the the fans down, crank the fans up, I should say, we'll probably get even cooler. All right, so it is where we want it to be. 9062 is the score to beat. Hasn't hit 80 yet. Yep. It hit 80. So in the other test, I didn't run it more than once. But uh, appears the other setup was better. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, thanks for checking out the video. I don't think we learned anything or we didn't prove anything. Except that I might have wasted 12.99. Thanks for checking out the video.